Hey everybody, today I thought I'd do a really quick pickups video. Um, the other day I saw on Facebook a gentleman who was selling a bunch of his things, a lot of Macs and different softwares, things like that, and he was selling a bunch on eBay, but he also offered to sell some locally because he'd like to get it out uh, as quick as possible. So I messaged him, I said I'd like to see some of the items. I picked out a bunch of things that I don't currently have in the collection. He had a lot of machines, but these were machines I already had and I was not prepared to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on everything. So I thought we'd take a look to see what I was able to pick up. Now the first thing was uh, my free gift with purchase according to him. So what I got today was unused original Apple stickers. It's always cool, I mean I definitely have quite a few of these right now, but it's always good to have some extra ones in the collection. Now something else that I picked out is a guided tour for the Macintosh Plus. I have the original guided tour for the 128, but I never was able to get a copy like this. Now it is unfortunate that it's written on, and so are actually a lot of the items that I picked up today. I believe these were former uh, government items that were being used, so they all have numbers and labels on them. Next, something that I've seen photos of, but never had one in my collection, um, that is Apple floppies. Now, these are not the original floppies, but I thought the box was amazing. It's really cool artwork and it reminds me, um, or I should say photography, it reminds me of when you buy an, an iPhone or, or a Mac now when they show pictures of what it is. Now the cool part is, it is full of different Mac discs. So from uh, MacWrite, MacWrite again, quite a few MacWrites. Uh, here we go, more Mac rights, Mac Paint. Um, so a lot of original Apple software. And like I said, these all have numbers on them indicating that they were for government use. So really cool and really happy to have these in my collection. But like I said, the main part was I definitely wanted this box. Now let's go along with that. He also gave me some more loose copies of Mac Draw, more Mac Paints. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of these guided tours, but it is awesome to have. Some more software, because that's the theme of the day. So it's Mac Draw. This is, from what I can tell, is complete. It has the manual. It has some updated information from Apple. According to them, it said that for different versions, they just added this in, which is really odd to see that it was just a stapled update to Mac Draw. And then more discs and an audio cassette that I assume is explaining it, but I will be listening to it later on an old tape deck of mine. So I'll put that there. And again, going along with the rest of the Mac rights, Here's another one, so full in box. Uh, it is a Canadian version, it is a French Canadian version, that's why you see Cher Jean. So, if we open it up. Very cool, because this one is actually completely sealed. Some information about it, and then the discs themselves. Great addition to all my software. Next, a box I don't come across too often actually. So, Mac Project. And once again, we look inside. Original manual. A audio cassette. And some more utilities discs and the disc itself, a guided tour. So the main reason I got these obviously was the boxes. I mean, yes, sometimes I come across the software, but I definitely don't come across the boxes. Next thing I got, and this is our plastic for the Macintosh. So inside, uh, this unfortunately is empty, but it is just the power plug. I have plenty of them, so that's not a big thing. So uh, a little manual explaining Mac Paint. some more manuals about how to use the Macintosh, the audio cassette about the Macintosh, the system disc, and Mac Paint. 
And again, because of where I am in the world in Canada, it is the French version. Now I have original 128 that has been upgraded, so it has been changed, but I did not have this box. Um, one of my favorite parts of what I got. So it's the 1997 Apple Mac Advocate CD-ROM. And if we look in there, it says it runs on Macs and Windows PCs. No, that's not a misprint. So I'll let you read this for yourself. Uh, I am gonna be checking it out. Something that really interests me is inside, I believe, there are different videos and things like that inside, such as the video of 1984. And finally, something that I might do a video on in the future, this caught my eye. Uh, this is Ford Simulator 2. Now, I believe I've seen a video from LGR who talks about Ford Simulator, and I assumed this was a PC-only release. However, if we open it up, and we look, it gives all the different things that you can do with it. So it's an electronic showroom, a buyer's guide. Uh, there's a driving simulator, so there are games inside. Again, I thought this was only for PC, but if we look, this is the Macintosh version. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be checking this out, and maybe I'll make a future video about it. It has all the paperwork, all the manuals, a little explanation how to use it. So, that is it for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.